Hi everyone! So it's time for my annual beauty video and this time I thought I'd show you how I get ready for a Tinder date. Yes, I've been on that cycle of downloading and deleting the ubiquitous app and I've finally decided to give it a chance again. Yes, Christabel, you've only gone and got yourself a date. Will I find love at first swipe? We'll see. First things first, I need to make this face look a little bit more like my profile picture. I try to forgo the usual posy blog snaps and I've used a hastily taken selfie. Now I want this look to be a bit more evening without being too heavy. I'll be using some Fenty Beauty products I've been loving because if Rihanna can't help in this situation, I don't think anyone else can. So I've primed my face and I'm going to have a go at applying powder before foundation because I've seen it on YouTube and it's meant to help the makeup last longer. Another YouTube tip. I'm going to start with my eyes and clean it up afterwards. I'm using the Morphe 350S palette, which is lovely, but goes everywhere. As per usual, I have all these colours, but I'm going to use the same three shades I always use. Does anyone else do that? So I tidy up the fallout and then I add the Bobbi Brown corrector in very deep bisque to neutralise certain parts of my face. Now it's foundation time and I'm using Pro Filter in 440, which is pretty much my perfect shade. I've also really been loving Kilowatt in Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule. It's such a gorgeous highlighter that I mainly use as a blush, which is a little bit risky. You have to be really careful. I'm then going to do a bit of contouring with one of the matchsticks in Espresso. Again, I've got to be really careful to blend because I don't want to look like a cartoon. It was all going so well until I decided to add more highlighter with a brush I've never used before. Imagine if this was Trophy Wife. Does anyone else correct all their mistakes with powder? I then add a more controlled amount of blush. I have no idea if this is even right, but I'm just gonna go with it. Now for brows. I'm still using the Sleek Brow Kit in Extra Dark and it's always a bit of trial and error. I'm basically in denial. I see everyone getting microblading, but I just want my brows back. Please. I was feeling a bit brave with my eyeliner flicks. I'm using Rimmel Exaggerate as always. Then mascara, a bit of Ico Lash Alert. Mm -mm. The Fenty lip gloss smells so good and it's nice and subtle. Now it's wig time. I'm gonna add a few curls with my Babyliss Curl Secret. It's the only way that I can curl my hair, but you have to be really careful not to let it get stuck, just like I've done here. Awkward. Luckily, I could take the wig off and set the hair free. So I'm all done. Basically, getting ready is me correcting all the things that go a bit wrong and hoping for the best. I kind of look like my picture, the hair's a bit different, but that's fine. Whatever happens, it's a learning experience and another story to tell. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye! Oh, we've got a match, way! You dance inside my chest where no one sees you, but sometimes I do and that sight becomes this art. Nah. <laughs> Blinking fit. Oh, oh, oops. Oh God, I'm always accidentally super liking. I don't want to super like you. <laughs> no, no, no. I think I've been using the app wrong. I'm gonna finish off this recipe and then I'm gonna go use some blood.